because um, their user behavior is affected by many different things. Now, I, based on the research that we've done at Google for the last few years and personal experiences, I've broken it down to like these buckets. You may be able to think of more, that's fine. But based on my experience, these are the, ones, these are the things which affect user behavior. So we've got occupied time, which I've spoken about. We have intention, state of mind, state of body. So I'm going to go through like examples of that. The catalyst is always important. Like if you ever do usability studies where you're seeing, um, you're, you're deliberately slowing down your experience to see how users behave, and you slow it down to like it takes 10 seconds for the site to load, um, what you find is people are still there, and it's like, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? What yet yeah, usually indicates is important. Like if an experience is really important to someone, they'll stay. For example, you're in a foreign country, maps taking forever to load. You have to wait. You don't have a choice. Or like if you need to find the, the address of a hospital, you're going to wait. You're going to keep going through every single page because it's really critical at that point. You don't want to design for that because that's really bad. But it's an important factor to think about, important. Now, we're going to talk about uh, intention. So 30% of users um, are just browsing. When you ask what, what, what triggers your web event, they're just browsing. So doctor's office, on the bus, whatever, they're just killing time. This goes up slightly for retail sites to 34%, which makes sense, right? You know, just idly window shopping. 30% want have a specific thing that they want to find out, right? This goes up to 49% for travel, which again makes sense. Like, you want to see what the latest deals are, do like the price of travel change during the school holidays, et cetera, et cetera. 29% actually want to do something. And this goes up to 57% for financial services, which makes sense, because no one's like, I wonder what mortgages are going on today. <laughs> um, so intent is affected by many different things. But if we think back to the Financial Times, by making one second faster, can we get someone to jump from each of these buckets to actually do something? It's food for thought. 